beautiful. To us, this looks great, but to some things, it tastes great too. Slugs and snails are one of a gardener's main pest problems, and this is one way they're controlled, poisonous slug pellets. But I'm here to investigate how slug pellets like these can affect more than just garden pests. Pippa Greenwood is an expert on garden pests. Wow, what's happened here? Well, this sea cow's been absolutely wrecked by slugs and snails. Look, they've had a real banquet. Incredible. I can really see why the numbers need to be controlled. Yeah, but the problem is most people use slug pellets and they kill far too many slugs and snails. But a lot of birds depend on slugs for their food. Yep, lots of birds love slugs and as you know, song thrushes are expert snail killers. If there are fewer slugs and snails, that means less food for those birds. Yeah, and it's not just birds, is it? Because slugs and snails are really important in lots of different food chains. Come on. So slugs and snails must feature in more than one food chain. Look. Oh, brilliant. Look at that. A hedgehog looking for tasty slug and snail snacks. I imagine a big hedgehog like that will probably get through quite a lot of slugs. A phenomenal amount, I should think. It's funny, isn't it, though, seeing one out and so lively in daylight. So a hedgehog also gets its energy from eating slugs and snails. So hedgehogs, birds, they depend on slugs and snails. But there are other animals too, aren't there? Yeah, frogs, toads, slow worms and badgers. And they're all part of their own food chains. You're going to have plant, slug and then frog. Or badger, or toad. So the simple chain's getting a bit more complex. Yes, but remember they're not necessarily the top of the chain, because, for instance, crows will eat frogs. And foxes. Foxes will eat frogs as well. So what you've got is not one food chain, but a whole load of food chains all interlinked and dependent on each other. It's a bit like a web. So our simple chain has gone. Plants are still at the first level, but now slugs and snails are in the middle of a web. With these things dependent on them for energy. Frogs and toads, badgers, hedgehogs and thrushes. And these dependent on those things. Foxes, owls, crows. If there aren't enough slugs and snails, everything else in the food web is affected. 